So this is going to be short messages on how your person currently feels. Um, I'm going to use the Sacred Forest Oracles to start to pick a pile. And then we're also going to get into the same tarot, which is going to be the, the Wayspell um, tarot here that's next to me. Okay, so that being said, let's get started. There'll be four piles here. Okay, so pile one. Pile two, pile three, and pile four. Okay. So what we're gonna do is I'm, I'm not gonna turn these over. I was actually going to, but then I just kind of changed my mind. I got kind of a nudge that I didn't need to do that. So I guess I'm gonna grab some of my Stickers. Actually, we'll use the box sitting right in front of me. We'll just pull some charms. Just fly by the seat of our pants around here. <laughs> um, so y'all have the ladybug, which I think I used for a reading not too long ago. So that would be on pile one. And pile two, what's your person currently feeling? What is this? Oh, I don't think I pulled this before. Um, just a red and blue and yellow flower. Okay. Pile three. This is the home and garden pen. <laughs> okay, so that's pile three. And pile four, your person's current feelings towards you, pile four. Okay. You have the snake. Hmm. How many people are going to pick that pile? <laughs> Just make sure that you're you're going towards the pile that you feel intuitively drawn towards, okay? So close your eyes, take a deep breath, think about your person, person you want to know about, and open your eyes and whichever pile you feel like you're just zoned into, you're just, it's pulling you in. You don't know why, um, but it's just kind of pulling you towards it. And then if there's another pile that's doing the similar thing, it could be that, that that could be a message for you, could be your energy, could be someone else that you're just needing to hear about, okay? So pile one with the ladybug, pile two with the flower, pile three with the home and garden pen, and pile four with the snake. Timestamps for everything will be down below, and I will see you at your pile. Hey, Paul One. I'm so sorry if the camera's shaking. It'll stop in a second. <laughs> I lost my little clicker, so I'm having to use my finger to push the button. Um, okay, so Paul One, y'all chose the ladybug. So, of course, I always want to say luck is on your side. You may feel like that you're very lucky to have this person. You may feel like you're, you've hit the jackpot here <laughs> in some way. Some of you, it may be the different difference there. You may feel like this person's lucky to have you. Um, could be the same. We'll see. But I feel like I would take this more of a, a good omen to say, you know, maybe luck is on your side here. Um, there may be something that is transforming or changing. You may be having to understand or look at the more masculine energy within yourself in order to make something happen here for yourself. Um, taking more of a leadership role here in something. Okay, all right, move this to the side so y'all can still see it. You can remember that's what you chose. And um, let's see what your card is here. Okay, how do you say that? <laughs> Daffodil Fairy, New Beginnings, number 10. I told you I couldn't read. <laughs> I really can't. Um, so... New beginnings are here. It's funny how this says new beginnings and you have number 10. Because even though that can be one, 10 is actually the closing of something. It's a closing out of a cycle. You know, 10 is like completion and you have new beginnings. So with the daffodil theory, it's it's like you're, you're completing something here and you're moving into some sort of new beginning. That 
goes within that, you know, luck is on your side there as well. You may be in this place. You may be, may be in this place with this person. You could be starting a new cycle here with this person or feel like that this is something that's coming. So you're wanting to know how this person feels, if they're feeling that way too, if they feel like maybe there's some kind of new cycle that's coming. Um, so if you've been picking up on that intuitively, you've been feeling like, you know, I feel like something, there's a shift in the energy. Or I feel like this person feels different. Or I feel like I've been feeling them a lot more lately. Like maybe they're coming back around. You know, it depends on what your situation is. It could be that you're optimistic about some kind of, having some kind of new beginning and completing some kind of cycle that's here. Okay. Let's get into... Let's get into... I'm going to get a few oracles. I want to see what this person's overall energy is. What is this person's overall energy at this time? Came right out. The proud rebel. <laughs> um, the same outfit y'all are wearing. <laughs> That's kind of cool. So this says rule breaker, non-conformist, nation national. National could be it. I was fixing to say national treasure. I'd have no idea why. Somebody watching that movie. Um, but it's funny how I said that about having something that you're lucky to have and you have national treasure. Like, you know, in that movie, they have to go searching for it and it ain't easy. Um, so that could be something that's here. Maybe you feel that about this person. But this is a non-traditional relationship is here as well. So you, this could be someone here that their energy right now is maybe they're, you know, this is like non-traditional, the relationship you're in. Or that you could see them as somewhat of a rule breaker. And maybe something around this connection or this person that is kind of it. Um, adventurous or <laughs> deceptive in some kind of way. Take it how it resonates. Um, maybe something a little bit secretive here that's going on as well. I just heard adds fuel to the fire. I don't know what that means. Let's see if we can figure that out. We have photographs here. So you have history with this person or you have memories with this person or this could be someone from your past that's returning or thinking about that. This is about going back to something. So this person keeps going back to something. Hopefully it's not a person. <laughs> if they keep going back to something about you in, in their mind, they, they're reminiscing, they're, there's memories that are being created or memories that they're reliving here. Um, give me one more for how this person is. Um, well, they gave me two. I'm just going to go ahead and take that and then leave that to the side. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you have ladybug, lady, ladybug, because <laughs> you have the ladybug. Lady spider web, which a ladybug can get caught in the web. New connection, shaping your reality, bringing the past, the present, and the future together. And then you have heavy burden, responsibilities, carrying old baggage, and clinging to an unhealthy relationship. It could be that this person is, you know, they're afraid about having a new beginning, clinging to an unhealthy relationship, perhaps for some of you with this nostalgia energy that's here. I think this person feels like that they have been caught in your web. <laughs> I think that they feel like that there's something to do with, you know, they feel this connection here with you. It's kind of shaping their reality of maybe how they're seeing how, how they're seeing their own responsibilities or how they've seen, like how they've been carrying unhealthy things from the past. You know, I think that you're teaching this person something for some, for some of you. It's like they're kind of catching on or they're, they're, they're getting that they're catching. <laughs> I don't know how to say this. They're getting caught up in your web. I mean, they're getting caught up in your web and I, they may be kind of trying not to, not to get caught up here. I don't know why that is. Um, I mean, it just depends on how this person fully sees you, right? I mean, they may have some responsibility, so they're trying to not get too caught up in something new here. This may be something that's not traditional for them or they feel like that they're just trying not to conform um, to an idea here, to something or not. But they're getting kind of caught up in this. And I think this is someone that's trying not to. 
get carried away because they maybe they have just res responsibilities or they're still holding on to something of their past or they they could feel that way with you as well like maybe you have a lot of responsibilities or a lot of burdens and there's an idea of, of having memories here with this person but you can't conform to something traditional you know huh person may feel like this kind of they can't have anything drain their energy or they feel like perhaps that this could I think this is someone that feels like that they could give their full attention to this relationship with you this connection with you they feel as if that they feel it there um, they feel the pull How's this person feeling towards Paul 1? The sun in reverse, Leo energy. They're not happy about something. They're not happy about something. They're disappointed or not happy about something. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. The Nine of Wands in reverse. I think this person's focused on something else. They're, they may not be happy where they are, that Ten of Pentacles in reverse. They may have had just like a heavy upheaval, but... I don't think that they're happy about how things are with you here either. They don't feel safe or secure here with you with this Ten of Pentacles in reverse. It could be because there is a non-traditional relationship here or this person's like not happy in commitment or not happy tied down. Um, take a deep breath with that. Let it sit for a minute <laughs> and then let it out. Because um, I know that's not like something you want to hear, but... I feel, I mean, I'm honest reader here, guys. So, I mean, I do feel like this person may not be wanting to settle down at this time. With this nine of ones in reverse, they may like having a free spirit, being a rule breaker here. I'm not saying they're going and, you know, jumping on any other horses. <laughs> I'm just saying that um, they're trying to be, like, they want to be free to make their own decisions or do their own thing here. Not being held back. Yeah, four, to, four of pentacles. They're setting some boundaries here. They want to set some boundaries here. They feel like they're just very protective of what it is and where they are. This person may have had a setback here as well. You go from a 10 to a four when it comes to their foundation because that is the four. Five of pentacles as I say that. Four to five. So they may be getting out of the cold here or... trying to find some kind of solution to something. I don't know if it has to do with you. Hmm. This is somebody that's recovering from something. They're in recovery. Or trying to recover something here with you. I can read this as someone that wants a new beginning here with you. Um, wanting to return to you, wanting to start something new with you. So they're still holding on to you, but that's not everybody's story. And that could also be someone else that's here as well with, with your energy, in your energy. Tell me about the sun in reverse, justice in reverse. They don't feel like it's fair. They're disappointed here because wherever they are, the position they're in, or how things have went or are going, they feel like they're disappointed. Um, maybe that there, there's a lack of fairness that's here. Um, this could have to do with time or position, you know. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. The High Priestess. This is somebody that could be keeping what they've been through to themselves. You know, they don't express a lot of this. Um, this can also be keeping a keeping it closed when it comes to long term um, still trying to figure that out with this high priestess still trying to understand what they want or what that looks like also this person may be keeping a, a lid on what they know that they would be losing here with you as well 
it's almost like this person may not want to fully rec give you recognition of who you are or what you what kind of value you hold with them because that will give you a sense of control and I don't think this person likes anyone else being in control of their emotions like they wouldn't tell you how they felt because they know that that will give you control and knowing that you have control in their emotions in some way and this is someone that wouldn't what they're not going to do that they're not going to give you that because then they'll lose control they'll lose how things go someone in this person's life has told them or made them feel like they're not good enough and it has always stuck with them and so they protect themselves by not allowing other people to see the value that they have in them so this is somebody that would definitely tell you that they value you but they wouldn't show you to the extent of what that is because then it would make them feel less than I hope that made sense I just tapped into like this person's shadow that's playing out here in this scenario with you tell me about the nine of wands in reverse the two of wands Yeah, this is somebody that just tries everything they can do without making a decision. This is like, <laughs> this is like saying, okay, get back here. You know, you got to make a decision. And they're like, nope, I'm going to go this way. <laughs> I'm going away from it. This is like runner energy. <laughs> and they're like, no, you have to, you know, you got to, there's a completion that needs to happen here. You're going to have to make a decision. And they're like, nope. So you may be getting kind of back and forth energy here with this person, which may be somewhat confusing for you. Um, this is like needing to go backwards to know what plan to make going forward. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Whoop, whoop, a hanged man in reverse that tried to go upright, okay? which can be like, well, let me think about this for a second. Um, they're trying to get make the best out of what time they have. When it comes to a pause or a break, they're trying to get you, they're, this person's afraid of you seeing things differently. I mean, they're all over this right now. They're afraid of you seeing the situation or the circumstances differently. This person may put you on hold, pause from time to time. This came out in a reading I just did. I may have been a personal reading, so if that sounds familiar to anybody out there, <laughs> if you, this is your reading, um, Pisces energy is here. It's like keeping you in that mysterious place, right? where you don't know what's going on. <laughs> you don't know up from down. Um, and they're holding you there intentionally until they get out of the cold of something. Tell me about that five of pentacles. The star, until they heal. It could be healing from something here. It could be responsibilities as well. It could be financial here as well. They're trying to get out of a, a certain place that they're in and they're trying to have faith here with that they're trying to heal here with that they're trying to nurture themselves um out of the cold what does this have to do i mean obviously all of it has to do with you but i'm asking about you how they feel about you and it's like they're this person's focused on themselves um and i don't know if this person's like breadcrumbing you i'm not i mean i don't have the six of pentacles in reverse here but that's what that card usually it signifies to me but let me let me see what this two of wands and this knight of wands is 
Ooh, okay. <laughs> okay, well, thanks, Spirit. You got me. Got the devil here with the Queen of Pentacles, okay? This person's trying to keep you stuck. This person's trying to keep you trapped. They're trying to keep you obsessed. They're trying to keep you um, in this place. This is so narcissistic, and I do not use labels. I hate labels. I know I do from time to time. That's a lie. But I don't like using them. I hate using labels. Um, because then it takes away from the full understanding of your, your situation um, when you're trying to put a label about it. Because sometimes in like this person, I think that's why I went into their shadow of this. Sometimes you can have narcissistic type of behaviors because you're trying to protect yourself. Um, and that's how your shadow is playing out in this. So this person is trying to protect themselves with keeping you kind of in a place to where you feel like you're confused or anxious so that they have control over you. And then in a way you become kind of obsessed, um, like with the need to know, you know, something like that is there. This person wants you to feel anxious. They, they almost kind of thrive in it because it gives them power. It gives them an understanding of how you feel like you're not going anywhere. You're not going to abandon this person. You value them. So it's like they, you telling them that you value them is not enough for them. They need to have control over whether or not that that's true. And if you're obsessive about this person or you're thinking about this person or they know that, you know, um, they know that you're, that you have anxiety over them in some kind of way when they're gone, um, or when they maybe ghost you, or when they just kind of disappear, or this night of wands in reverse, when they're cold with you in some way, again, that's how they know that you're not going anywhere, and that you really value them. And there are a lot of psychological terms for what I'm describing here, but I'm going to let y'all take that how it resonates, okay? Um... Tell me about this sun in reverse with justice in reverse. The queen of wands. So you have your your queen of wands and your queen of pentacles. See, they they see you as the queen of wands. I mean, queen of pentacles. They know. They see you as this queen of pentacles. They know what you're worth. They know what you will and won't put up with. They know how strong you are. And they know that they're not giving you like recognition for who you really are, but they, they're they treating you like a queen of wands. And I don't mean anything against the, the, the wands and the pinnacles. What I'm saying here is that you got to think about the type of cards these are, okay? The queen of pinnacles is someone that's stable, secure, confident. She definitely doesn't give away anything unless she feels like they deserve it. You know, that kind of energy, and that's that sense of control that we talked about. The queen of wands is someone that is fun and flirtatious, and she's confident in herself and she's a go-getter but she's you know she's you know she's more reluctant to get up off of her pedestal <laughs> and have a good time than the queen of pentacles probably would be even though she's a good time too um <laughs> so if that makes sense sagittarius energy taurus for me and Cami capricorn um virgo and then you have a aries and leo here as well double leo libra pisces pisces Aquarius down here. Okay. Um, the justice in the reverse here with this is like this person knows this is not like they know there there's only part of you that they're acknowledging. They're not acknowledging you for your full potential and they're doing it intentionally. Even maybe to their self. Um, because of this. So let's, why is the hanged man in the reverse? Okay, you got the tower in reverse, that page of pentacles. That's the breadcrumbing energy I was looking for. And the tower's in reverse. This person's trying to give you just like this little bit here, hoping that you don't like change your mind or leave them out in the cold. You have five pentacles here with that. They don't want things to change or they're not ready for change. 
um, Scorpio energies here. For some of you, this is about owing you an apology. Um, but they're afraid that it's going to give you, again, some sense of power or, or that it could... You could change the way you're seeing things and, and walk away from this if they apologize to you for something. If they open, if they give you something, an offer even, they feel like it could change the way that, like they, whatever they're offering you, it's a page. It's not enough. And if they do that, then they feel like that you can... You'll change the, your mind about, about the boundaries that you have set here or what you want to hold on to or holding on to this. Why is this Five of Pentacles in the reverse with that star? The chariot. Cancer energy. This person is, is trying to get themselves back into alignment here. Why is the star here? Trying to heal. It's a, it's somebody from their past they're holding on to. Oh, what's that? Not a pentacles. Sorry about my dogs. I just realized I moved myself closer to them. So that's not a good thing. So they're holding on to some past hurt, past baggage that they're trying to move away from or trying to get past. But they're, they're determined to not carry this into something here. Okay? They're determined to not carry this into... To heal this and not carry this into um, the relationship here with you. You have a two of cups at the bottom of the deck. So that partnership is there. The relationship is there. But the lovers is in reverse with that three of pentacles. They just can't choose this right now. They just can't choose you right now. They can't commit to you. They can't offer you that knight of cups. There's too much conflict that's going on and too much illusion and fear and the unknown that's going on. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, wait, no. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So let's see what this person would say to you real quick and then we'll um, get a vast card. Short readings, yeah, right. I don't even know why I say that anymore. <laughs> I don't even know why I just throw myself under the bus. It's going to be a short reading. Mm -hmm. 40 minutes later, here we are. The short reading. What would this person say to you if they could say anything? I know I messed up everything. I, have, I daydream about you. I daydream about a life with you. Hold on now. <laughs> um... I have trouble with intimacy. That about sums that up. And I love you unconditionally. Oh yeah, this person does. You know it's crazy. <laughs> there's a, there's a difference in almost more or so with you know loving someone, falling in love with someone, loving someone, and really caring about someone. There's a difference in that. Caring about someone is like, you don't want to hurt that person. You don't want anything to happen with them. You want them to still see you in a good way. You want to see them in a good way. You care about how that person sees you or, or how you affect that person. When you fall in love with someone, you may be in love with that person in a, in a season, but you could leave that relationship, you know, not caring about that person, doing what you need to do for yourself and, you know, like ending it without caring like it, it, what happens to that person or, or how that person sees you in that moment. You just have to do what you need to do, that kind of thing. That can happen. There's just a big difference in relationships and how you separate yourself from how you see someone and what you, how you feel about someone. So I hope that made sense. Let's keep going. That's what that unconditional love is. This person like actually cares they just can't tell you face to face. <laughs> so you have that here. And chemistry is here, so they do feel the attraction here towards you. And I need security. And that's that four of pentacles. 
I have trouble with intimacy and I need security is that wound that I tapped into where this person allows their shadow to kind of take over um, when it comes to needing to be in control because they can't just fully express themselves. This, I mean, that, I know I made a mistake is here. This person feels like maybe they made a mistake in maybe judging you or how they judged you to begin with. Um, something that's coming out there. And you speak to me through music, so music may be relevant between the two of you. Maybe you've shared a lot of music together, or they feel like that songs, since if especially if they have a hard time with intimacy, songs can help this person um, cope with things, right? And they may think about you a lot when they listen to songs, or they have an understanding with, with the situation and things when they listen to music. What can you tell me about this um, advice for Paul one? Synchronicities. So you've been getting some signs, maybe, perhaps, some synchronicities about this. It says, are you noticing the signs of synchronicities that Spirit World has been sending you at this time? People's situations in your life are not just appearing by coincidence. In reality, they're being guided to you from Spirit World to help you with a specific reason. So, that being said... Let's see if we can figure out what that is. What's the reason that they're seeing these signs? Can you help them out with this? What's the reason that they're seeing these signs and synchronicities? <laughs> Doubt for heart. So you may be having a hard time being optimistic here, perhaps for some of you, um, or you just have a doubtful heart here about this. We have 72. You must resolve the doubt in your heart before you can be able to move forward because a doubt for heart will never believe. So maybe you're having a hard time believing in love or believing that this is, can be a reality here, even with this person. You have a doubt for heart here and it's not in alignment to what you really want. And so that's something that maybe you need to take a look at. Um, divine assistance is also on the bottom of that, which goes into synchronicities as well for me. Okay. So, I'm going to leave you here. I'm going to get some initials first. And then, I'm going to walk away from the reading. <laughs> it's hard for me to let it go. I can keep going with the advice and cards all day long. Um, so, we have the number four, which is important because that's about your stability and your security. Um, and you also have the H, which also reminds me of headquarters the way that it is. So, what is your heart telling you? We have 4-H here, so if that means anything to anybody. <laughs> um, so you have the taking care of your prized possession is something that came into mind when I said that. What you feel like is most important or, va or you value. And that could be your heart with that H. You have the sword. So the sword of truth. So conversations, clarity is coming here. Um, you just have to have faith in it, right? You have a F, O, A, A, I, and Q. IQ, be smart about this. Um, be smart about what you communicate or what you say or your truth. Okay, so I'm going to hold this up. Questions and answers is here, Q&A. Ask the right questions, get the right answers. <laughs> Ask the right questions and pay attention to the answers that you receive. I think that that's really important. And if you're really receiving the answers that you're looking for. All right, I'm going to hold this up and I'm going to let you go. So thanks for being here, guys. I hope this helps. Good luck to you with this and I hope to see you soon. Hey, Paul 2. Okay, so how is your person currently feeling here? So we have the... This is funny because it actually is a flower, but it kind of looks like a, like a something that would spin or like a wheel. And then I started thinking about going downhill, <laughs> you know, and getting the momentum. So maybe get the ball rolling or something about going downhill. Um, it is very, also very bright, you know, it almost kind of pulls you in. So there may be something to do with communication that's here with the center being that blue color, which is the color of the throat chakra. 
Um, so maybe something to do with communication here and also like maybe something that's alerting you or there's some kind of red flag there um, that you feel like is maybe getting the momentum or starting to take off in some kind of way. I don't know even what I mean by that. <laughs> um, there could be a sense of something to doing to do with your safety or security here with that red color. Just like being alert, right? It's funny because it's like yellow, red, all you're missing is the green, but instead of green, you have the blue, which is communication and truth expression, you know? So it's like maybe once you initially get past the first part of expressing yourself, then that's really when things start to kind of go or start to take off. We'll see how that is, what that means um, as we get into it. It could mean things start to take off in a good way, not so great way. We'll just take a look and see. So let's see what your card is. Guardians of the land protection. Yeah, number 21. So that kind of ties in with what I said here about your sense of security or safety here. Something to do with like that root, root chakra, right? Um, 21 is actually the world in tarot, so there's something to do with uh, completing a cycle here um, or something like that, or needing to complete a cycle in order to protect something here. You have that divine masculine energy that's in the shadow back here, um, guardians of the land. So it's almost like this idea of needing to protect yourself or needing to stand strong, needing to be a leader or take the leadership role. Um, when it comes to some sort of ending here or recognizing your own part or your own shadows here in something um, or that's what this person's doing okay so let's go ahead and get into the tarot we're actually going to start with some oracle cards change my mind <laughs> we're going to start with some oracle cards so I'm not tapping too much into your energy because I do feel like for a lot of you, this is kind of your energy here about kind of needing to protect yourself or feeling the need to protect yourself in some kind of way and there being some kind of ending that's taking place or you're taking a leadership role and ending something here perhaps. Okay. Getting the ball rolling is something that I keep hearing in my head, too. What is this person feeling towards you currently? What is their current energy? What is your person's current energy? Nature calls. So there's a lot to do with land and nature and grounding yourself here. This is about grounding yourself. Take a deep breath. Connect with nature. Ground yourself. Tell me more about Paul II's person. So this person may be trying to ground something here with you at this time or contemplating that. Okay. We have the final dance. So there's that ending that's there. Last chance, all or nothing, not playing games. So this is someone that maybe they're tired of playing games. They don't want to play games anymore. They want to really ground something here with you. But then you also have fanned out. So this is a card of being available, maybe being willing to be vulnerable here. They don't want to play games. They, you know, they're wanting to take the initiative here, take the leadership role, be vulnerable here, maybe open up. That's that communication that we saw earlier with that blue color. And on a pedestal, great admiration, idealizing and denying flaws, feeling they're out of your league. So this person could be in a place to where they're trying to like ground something here with you because they may be feeling like they're vulnerable here around you because they may feel like that you're out of their league in some kind of way. They may really idealize you or put you up on a pedestal. They may be kind of looking at you like you don't have a lot of flaws here, like they're the ones that more so are the person that maybe has, maybe they've played games with you. Um, maybe they feel like that they haven't put really their best foot forward here um, to how they maybe presented themselves here. And now they're kind of wanting to backtrack um, and actually ground something. 
I feel like this person could be completing a cycle or they just want to put their all into this. They want to be available here to you. They want to open up to you. They don't want to have any restrictions here around you or, or they don't want to restrict you either. This is someone that wants to be available to you. They don't want to restrict you either here though. This is kind of interesting energy. Um, you have Beauty and the Beast at the bottom of the deck and that kind of makes sense, right? Major differences, feeling like your love life is cursed and desperately looking for true love. Desperately looking for true love. I think that I think this person for whatever reason I feel like they feel beneath you in some kind of way I feel like maybe this person feels like they're not good enough for you in some kind of way or they just really have you like they really look look at you in a, in a good way and they it's like they don't want to miss out even if they don't feel like they're ready. They, they may have felt like maybe they've not seen this in you before or treated you in that way before. Like, you know, Beauty and the Beast, he, he feels like a beast here next to her. Um, and there's just maybe some big differences between the two of you as well. I think you're in the energy of needing to protect yourself, needing to recognize where you stand here, um, and being communicative. You may have already been very communicative about how you feel and needing to protect yourself here, standing your ground even. person I, I get this energy of someone that's like okay I got to straighten up or I'm gonna lose Paul too you know um okay so how's this person feeling about you Paul too Ooh, look at that that says it all right there that ten of swords in reverse this is like somebody saying I need to make improvements here I need to do better um or I can take a chance of, of losing losing something here right it could be that you've already had an ending with this person and they know that, you know, they need to fix it or they need to, to just improve the situation here before things come to an end or wanting the opportunity for that. Wow. So that's the full in reverse. So this person, this is this energy I was getting here of someone that feels rec reckless, like they've been kind of reckless here with this. You have that world number 21 here. Now you have the 10. That's a, that's the ending or, or, or a possible ending, you know, being in reverse. The fool is like, I can't mess this up again. If you get another try at this, you definitely don't want to mess it up. It's like they they have been foolish here with you, this person. They've taken some risk at messing this up and they don't, like they've had some kind of epiphany about that and they don't want to do that. They don't want to continue that way. Maybe this person has been impulsive. They may have been impulsive with their words or their actions here with this Knight of Swords in reverse. Or they've just been holding back with taking some kind of action or taking some kind of risk. I need some more. How does this person feel towards Paul Two, The Four of Pentacles in the reverse. This is this energy here. Same kind of energy. They're even sitting in the same way. It's that Four of Pentacles energy with being available or holding back, you know, the willingness to be vulnerable here. Keeping, your, keeping yourself available. Letting your guard down. Opening up. So if this person's been very held back, if this person's been very, like, tight-lipped or just, like, not just not saying a whole lot, um kind of closed off to themselves in some kind of way, they're 
knowing that they need to change that. So sorry, guys. I had to pause for a second. My kids. Okay, let's get one more here and we'll get some clarifiers for this. The Nine of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, this person's been a little bit overwhelmed. I think they're a little bit overwhelmed here. Or they put you in your head, even. But I do think that they're they're a little bit overwhelmed with your energy. I think your energy is overwhelming to this person. Um, almost kind of... I feel like this person's kind of in a... I mean, they, if they see you like this, it's like they're almost overwhelmed at who you are, like the person that you are, you know, the beauty that you have here inside and out. It's like they're kind of overwhelmed with that. And they've been in this feeling here of not knowing what to do or feeling kind of stressed out about it. Hmm. Ten of Swords in the reverse. It's almost like this person wasn't really ready for you. Look at that. It's the lovers with that Ten of Swords in reverse. This is a resurrection or, you know, again, somebody that doesn't want to lose their, their chance here with you. They feel like the two of you kind of just fit together, like you are just like a counterpart for them. Um, it makes sense. You know, this is like a, the lovers here is like two people that it just makes sense for the two of them to be together. They have the similar morals or values. Um, it's like finding your true counterpart or the person that you feel like can better you in your life. You know, something that's good for you here with that Ten of Swords in Reverse. Someone that's healing for you in your life. This is how they're seeing you. This is something that this person doesn't want to lose. And I think that they've already took risk on that, on losing that. Tell me about the fool in reverse. The empress. There you there that is. That's that feeling. That's the beauty over here. Beauty and the beast with the fool. They've been a fool. Uh, they haven't it's just like on a pedestal here. Same energy with this empress. They've been a fool at how they've maybe invested into this connection. Um, and they don't want to take a risk at losing someone that they see as this empress energy. Taurus, Libra, Gemini's here. Aries energy as well. They maybe feel like... I mean, this is you just don't take a risk on the empress. You know? And they see you, I think, as being very cautious with them as well. Tell me about the Knight of Swords in the reverse. They may have made some mistakes, yeah, with their communication here. The King of Swords in the reverse. They may have not been honest with you um, about maybe the actions that they're taking or they want to take or things that they have said. Maybe they weren't being completely honest with you here. Um, there's a... They haven't been really sure about what actions they've wanted to take. That's part of the, of them risking losing you is they've been non-active. They haven't been taking any kind of action. I think that they're aware of that. Maybe they've been playing games here with you. I think they're aware of that. Um, so the Four of Pentacles in the reverse, it can indicate that they're a well aware that maybe you are releasing them or you... You are available to others even with that Four of Pentacles in reverse. Look at that. Four of Swords in the reverse. They've been overthinking that. Yeah. This is where they've gotten kind of stuck, right? They've been stuck in a place to where they've been kind of wanting to kind of protect themselves, like that card says, or keep to themselves, keep closed off, set boundaries up. And they've been kind of overthinking that. What should I give? What shouldn't I give? What should I be available for? What shouldn't I? It's about limits and restrictions here and what, what those are. And they've been overthinking this. How much should I give? You know? Um, what should I keep to myself? So this is, can be someone like you've kind of figured them out, but not completely, or like you just tell that this person's holding back from you, you know? Tell me about the Nine of Swords in the reverse. Oh, look at that. The Ten of Pentacles. 
this is what I'm talking about. It's like, this is, this is having and, and getting everything that you've wanted. That's what this is. I think this person's kind of realizing that, that within you, you know, that they, they could actually get everything that they wanted. And that's something that's overwhelming that you have everything that they want is overwhelming. I don't think this person was technically ready for this. It's almost like you came in in this Empress energy and they came in in this full energy. Not that they're full, but they were just kind of being free and open and all this stuff. And, and you're bringing Empress to the table. And it's a very mixed matched energy, right? The Empress, she's been through all the things. She knows, like she's confident in herself. She knows herself. She knows she's been through all the Queens she's mastered all those queens she knows herself in a very deep way and and then you have this fool here that's coming at you that oh i think this person's just completely head over heels for you and i think they've been just really foolish about that they did not come into this with thinking about you being an empress and it's like they're realizing that you are the it's like the more they get to know you just like the movie beauty and the beast you know they first at first they're kind of have their wits about one another but as you get deeper and deeper they start to realize there's more there you know, like the song you know there's something there <laughs> that song um one of the songs that are play in that movie um, I would sing it if I could. I don't remember the, but it goes through like the things that they thought about each other, and then the things that there's like more more to each other than what meets the eye. It's kind of like what this person's feeling. But what actions are they going to take? Because right now I feel like there's just in a period of contemplation in a way. What actions will this person take? We have an Ace of Cups in the reverse. What actions will this person take? The Ten of Wands in the reverse. They want to change the way that you're seeing the relationship or you're seeing them. The Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. They want to change the way that first thing is for this person they want to make sure that you see them in the same way they're seeing you okay because i think that's going to make all the difference of how they perceive forward they want to know how you feel about them this is someone that wants to know how you really feel about them you know do you have feelings for them because that right there is going to take a, a lot of the weight off of, of what the changes are they need to make moving forward. And if they're, if that's not, an, if you don't, then this is something that I feel like they need to just kind of stay more focused on themselves or what they're doing or take a break here from this. Um, King of the not a, uh, I'm sorry, King of Cups in the reverse, Scorpio energy. Yeah, they have to be able to feel good about things emotionally, and right now there's an emotional imbalance here. Once they feel good and secure emotionally, then they can move forward and make the changes that they need to make. Okay. It all ba it's all based off of how they how you feel because if you if you feel for this person things may change quickly because this person there's already i mean this is mature emotions that are here right tell me about the ace of cups in the reverse the nada ones <laughs> you know that um on it's just weird i just saw a ad for a new 
clueless, um, which I don't know if it was real or not, but You know when she's sitting there and then she's like, oh my gosh, I'm in love with Josh. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Um, that's what I'm feeling right here. The Nine of Wands is wanting to explore, wanting to figure out, wanting to explore and having a desire to know, you know, if, if these are mutual, if these feelings are mutual or not. Tell me about the Ten of Wands in the reverse. The Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Yeah. They want things to change. Okay. So, whatever's transpired up until this point, this person wants to change the way that things are. Radically. This is about radical change. You have those Ten of Wands. And you're taking on a burden here of, of what has happened so far, the way things have went so far. And you're understanding that now you need to release that in order to have something new. You go from that ten to that ace here. Just like that ten up down there, ten of swords to the full. You're realizing you need to have a new cycle or something new needs to take off. So you have to repair it or you have to change the way the wheel is spinning right change trying to change the fate tell me about the eight of pentacles in the reverse you have a four of ones in the reverse so yeah mm -hmm. this could be taking a break if these are not reciprocal feelings this could be taking a break here of the foundation here of things they don't feel at peace here with continuing to put effort into this if that's not the case. And I think it has a lot to do with their emotional self. You know, if you have emotions for someone and they don't have those same kind of emotions for you, it's really hard to stay involved into something like that because it's, it hurts. Because you're not going to respect each other. You're not going to communicate with each other. You're not going to, it's not going to be the same. It's not going to be equal. And when something is not uh, equal, give and take, and the feelings aren't the same, it, it tends to, over time, wear on us, right? Um, so there's this understanding of that and this acknowledgement that either this is like an all or nothing. Either I'm going to give it my all here or I'm not going to be able to give anything to this. Um, tell me about the King of Cups here. This can also be about... It's funny because if these cards were in the other way around, it would be like wanting to put proceed forward with a union, proceed forward with getting together, with proceed forward with, you know, the idea of what could be, wanting to work on it and see. But it's all like halted, and I think it's just because of this, needing to know which direction to take things. Tell me about the King of Cups in the reverse. Temperance, yeah. Emotionally... This is someone that emotionally that they couldn't, they couldn't stay in this here with you again unless that was equal. They're well, uh, they're using their emotional maturity to understand that about the situation. Um, can I have a card? That's Sagittarius, by the way. Can I have another card for the Ace of Cups in Reverse, Knight of Wands, for their actions? The two of ones in reverse, yeah. They're afraid of of what is it's like the two of ones in reverse the two of wands is about making a plan, being in a crossroad. Which route are you gonna take? You're gonna do, do this route or that route? Which one are you gonna choose? Here he's chosen in this card and he's he's holding the world, which is this card here, number twenty one, of what he, what it is that he wants to protect, what's most important to him. And in reverse, as far as actions go, it's almost like they can only take this so far. And in order to know for sure, like, okay, I want to take this direction. Now I just need to know for sure how Paul II feels so I can move on to the Three of Wands. You know, I can move on to the Four of Wands. They're missing the next step, which is 
like implementing the plan, right? This is about deciding to do that and which direction to take. They need you for that because they need to know how you feel. What can you tell me about how Pile 2's person's next actions? What can you tell me about their next actions? Death and reverse. Yeah. Give me a clarifier for that. That's Scorpio energy, by the way. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. So whatever they've been, they've been stagnant to change things here. They've been stagnant in taking some kind of action to change things here. Um, that's what they're going to be doing. They're focused on this at this time. The idea or their need that, the need that something needs to change. Look at that. Two of Swords in the reverse. There is a little bit of stalemate kind of energy here with this person. Like where they get kind of stuck when it comes to actually moving or saying something. Mm -hmm. They're also trying to, the understanding of this is that they're giving you the option or they're giving you the, the final say-so, the final choice. Um, they're very diplomatic about this. Well, give me one more for that two of swords in the reverse. There's the ace of wands in the reverse. There's a little bit of fear of rejection that's holding this person back. You have the justice at the bottom of the deck. So karma's playing out here. Um, yeah. I think it has a lot to do too with this person knows that they haven't maybe didn't, haven't been treating you fair or haven't been treating you to your full potential or haven't been has ha, they have been playing games with you here and this is something that they're realizing and something that they want to change but the karma of that now is that you are very guarded and you're very protective of your own energy um the karma of that now is that this person's already acted a certain way or communicated certain things and now they're having to kind of reword that or go back on that and that is going to give you red flags you know and and you may not trust this person as much as you would have if they wouldn't have done that to begin with um it's like this person wasn't prepared for you or ready for you or even maybe even wanted something like this you know, um, maybe they didn't want to be restricted, but they can't, they know they can't mess this up. Or they, they don't want to betray you. Or they don't want to lose this opportunity, you know, with you. Hmm. Let's see what this person would say. What would this person say to Paul too, if they could say anything? Whoop. I'm waiting patiently. That's all this energy that's here. I do wish you well. This person does not want to see you with someone else. I'm just going to say that. I feel that so much with that card. I do wish you well. This is a shadow card, and it's like, Whatever you decide here, moving forward, it's like this person's like, I wish you well. But as a shadow, it's more like, I don't want to have to. But I guess if I do have to let, let this go, I, I wish you the best. You know, that kind of energy's there. I only want you to be happy. That kind of energy's there. What would this... Mm -hmm. The timing just wasn't right for us. And this person wasn't prepared for this. You have judgment underneath the justice with that seven of pentacles. That's about an investment or what it is that you're putting time and energy into. It's also about waiting patiently for someone to make a judgment call here or to have some kind of new beginning or fresh start with justice. 
guess I needed to see that. <laughs> um, I remember every detail of that day. There could be something this person said that kind of haunts them, or they did that kind of they think about a lot. Sometimes I stay awake and thinking about you. <laughs> That's this Nine of Swords, by the way. I need security. I have trouble with intimacy. And I know I messed, things, messed up everything. See, that's it right here. This person, I don't think that it's that they didn't. They didn't know what they were going to feel or they didn't know how to feel. That four of pentacles with that available card is like they've just been holding on tightly to what they have or themselves, you know, because they have a hard time understanding how they feel or, or what they want. Like the timing was off. They just weren't ready for this. They just weren't ready for any of this. But they messed up here. They feel like they messed up here. They may have compared you to others here. I compare you to others is on the back. Also, you have, you came closer than anyone. That's where they may have messed up. They may have compared you to, to someone else. I kind of want to get a card for that, but I don't want it to make it too complicated. So take this with a grain of salt. This may not resonate, whatever I'm fixing to pull. Tell me about, I remember every, okay. <laughs> happiness you bring more happiness than I could ever imagine they may have and look at it she's kind of in the pedestal there in that chair same energy of up there and you have fights at the bottom of the deck they may have been fighting this um they may have made, made you feel like they weren't happy with you. They may have said something here. That made you feel like that they weren't happy with you in some way. And that messed things up. It's something that they regret saying or doing. Like, if they could go back, they would have done that differently. They would have said something different. They would have acted a different way. I actually don't want to get these. I feel called to these. Um, these are the Divine Goddess Oracles. Let's see. What advice do you have for Pile 2 moving forward? What advice do you have? Manifestation, laws of attraction. So be careful of your thoughts. What you're thinking can come into reality. So thoughts become things. Continue to think, you know, be optimistic if this is something that you're wanting. What's for your highest good? I think this person's trying to also manifest something here. Yeah. Dedication. Stay dedicated to your goals. Rewards that re efforts that re will reap success. This could be a side message. Um, this could just be all in together. You know, whatever it is that you want for yourself or what you're manifesting, stay dedicated to that because it, it may be and is kind of leading you to um, some kind of success. So continue to stay dedicated here. Even if you feel like this could be something good, you know, continues to stay dedicated to that thought. Release. Release the grudges, wounds, and pent-up feelings through healthy activity. So that's always good advice, but continue, you know, if you are doing things for yourself or continuing to stay active, continue to do that because that's something that can help release frustration, anxieties, anything that you've been holding on to pent-up help you to release those if you can't kind of release those um, physically or mentally or um, communicate wise <laughs> you 
and you feel like you're bottling up or keeping some things to yourself here that can help with uh, relieve the stress of that. Kind of a different message there. Pay attention. Look out for the red, the signs from the divine. Acknowledge the red flags. So yeah, and look at that. Communicate. I landed on receive and express the truth. Release the way that things are kind of going and just focus on what you want from this. Um, stay dedicated to that, whatever that is, of what you want and what you desire. And try not to get trapped in your head too much. I know it's easier said than done, but continue to stay focused on yourself, to stay focused on your goals. You will reap some kind of reward with that if you continue to stay focused on your goals. Um, there may be some kind of success here in, that's coming in for you. Um, I feel called to pull a card for that. Um, I'm getting an idea of what the card is I need to pull in my head, but I don't see them. Which is frustrating. <laughs> We're going to use one of these. Um, and then continue to be honest and communicate what your needs are. Just express your truth. That's all you can do is express your truth here. What is that um, dedication, that side message here for Paul 2 about success? Am I willing? Okay, so ask yourself, are you willing to put in the work? Are you willing to stay dedicated in order to reap the reward there? You're on the edge of something great. Yep, I'm telling you, there's something here that can come out of this if you keep going. Yes, there is a risk, uncertainty, and imperfections ahead. Failure is certain, and the vulnerability is a requirement. You must be brave and trust yourself more than ever before. You will reach that dream but you must stretch yourself into a whole new level of belief and willingness in order to move forward with courage. Be brave, follow your heart's compass, and lift the lid on your own dreams. Today's mantra is, it's possible. It's possible. Manifestation all has to do with believing that it's possible, right? Being vulnerable in that as well, and being vulnerable with things that those imperfections that happen, those failures that happen as being a part of that impossibility. Um, you know, to the willingness in order to move forward with courage, you have to believe in yourself and you have to be willing to stay dedicated here. I think something's going to happen here for you if you can continue to do that. Even here with this person, believing in what you really want from this laws, law of attraction, thoughts become things and stay dedicated to what that looks like or what that is. Okay. And then just pay attention to the red flags and be honest about what you see. You have to be honest with the other person, you know. Okay. Um, I just want to get one more for overall advice about this particular thing and then we'll get some initials to close, okay? I get different kinds of advice for each poll, depending on the reading. What overall advice do you have for poll two? Gimme, gimme, gimme. Spirit contract, number 56. Answer the call of your ancestors to connect to their wisdom and receive their support. So, asking for guidance, that doesn't hurt, ever, you know. Ask for signs. Give me a sign. <laughs> Give me a... Give me some kind of sign to know that I'm in, headed in the right direction or I'm doing the right thing here. It doesn't hurt to have those little initiatives. Okay. Got some good charms here. <laughs> you have the little angry Lego face. So, yeah, I think this person may be a little bit upset with themselves um, for maybe communication here with the sword or the truth or not telling you the truth or you also have the knight of swords here um so not expressing themselves or not taking action that's something a double whammy that just keeps coming up um and you have the h here it could be about how they feel with that h being that green color of the heart chakra and it is a h it could also be about um maybe their home? I don't know why I want to say that. What is that about? Maybe they weren't honest about something to do with a home. For 
frustration around that? Hmm, okay. Not everybody's message. Maybe they're wanting to communicate to you about their heart, you know? The frustrations that they feel, even. You have F, C, another C, A, U, V, A, I, and W, or M. Okay. I'm going to hold this up so y'all can see it. Don't forget you have an H here as well. So thanks guys for being here. Um, thanks for all your love and support and all your kindness, of course. I hope this helps. Good luck to you with this and I hope to see you soon. Bye. Okay, top three. So if you chose the home and garden party pin, this is going to be your reading. So, pile three. With the home and garden pin, obviously the balloons are like a celebration. So maybe there is a celebration or there's some kind of celebration coming up or something to do with that having something to celebrate. You also have flowers on here as well. There's six of them. So maybe home and garden, this could have, something could happen around a home. Um, you could be going to some kind of event here where you meet this person or see this person. Um, maybe grounding some sort of stability here with garden and home. Um, and having something to celebrate. This like reminds me of 401. So you could be reuniting here with someone or wanting to, um, wanting to celebrate maybe a, a marriage or a relationship or a foundation of some sort, or you're just coming together. You could be coming together within a home, you know, and that could be growth. There could be some sort of expansion when it comes to the relationship. Okay. With that being said, Let's go ahead and get into your card. So this is gonna tell me kind of how you are feeling at this moment. The Bluebird Spirit, happiness. This is my favorite card. Or one of my favorites, I'm not gonna lie, I have more. <laughs> um, but it's a bluebird and bluebird's a free spirit, you know, having a free spirit. So you may be in a place to where you feel very happy with happiness. This is number seven, which is a number of alignment. So, you may be in a place to where you feel really happy. You could be in a relationship. That is the seventh house, which is the um, house of relationships. So, it could be that. Could It's also Libra energy and feeling at peace or in balance or feeling, um, you know, in harmony with how things are. You're on that branch. I, I feel like you may be getting, you may be getting some sort of offer or a olive branch here from someone that's going to make you feel really happy or you have. Um, you have a unicorn that's in the background of this. There's something here for some of you that needs your attention. This is something that may come up here with this person that needs your attention. Um, it's going to make you feel really good or make you feel happy. I don't know why I'm reading this like future energies. It's supposed to be how you're feeling right now. All I can say is that I feel like you're happy with the, with where you are right now or how things are right now. And you feel like if you're not happy with the relationship or this person, it's like you're just happy with where you are. Like you feel like you're in the place that you're supposed to be in. If not, this is something that you're thriving towards or you're focused on, you know. Like it's not out of your grasp. You feel like happiness is obtainable you know it's in your grasp or it's you can reach it it's right in front of you like there's something to do with you feeling this way that's bringing on happiness that's bringing on um wanting to celebrate yourself here okay but a free spirit is something that's there as well so some of y'all just you may be free you may be just a free spirit you may be in a place to where you're not trying to commit or wanting to commit to anyone or anything. Um, not for everybody. Like I said, some of you may be in a relationship you're just currently happy with, but you may want to, you know, you may want to have a home here with this person or come together with this person, ground a 
place here with this person in some way. There's something that you used to may, may feel like this was impossible and you don't anymore. Like you feel like it's not. And I think maybe for some of you, you're not really fully acknowledging the fact that that's the case. Like whatever this is with this person or whatever this is, it's like wherever you are, you're not really realizing that at not long ago, you, this was like a unicorn. You know, this was like something that you never thought would ever happen for you. Um, it's kind of a different kind of message, but okay. We're going to use some of the oracles to get started on your person and how their person's currently feeling about you what their current energy is towards you, and then we'll get into the tarot. So pile three, how's pile three's person? Think, think about your person here. How is your person currently feeling towards you, pile three? Well, <laughs> good news. We have a um, magical gateway here, which is about going for it on the right path, being that number of alignment, and wonderful new beginnings. So, so far so good. Let's see what else we have. Consuming passion. <laughs> well, that's never really like a bad thing. I mean, depending on how you look at that. <laughs> and clean up crew. So, let me get one more. <laughs> get me one more. Can I have one more, please? Battle wins. Okay, I get it. I get it, I get it. How's your person currently feeling about you? You have healing heart at the bottom of the deck. I think this person feels like that you have a healing heart. I think this person, I think they may recognize the fact that you are still healing from some things, but I think that they are some like old emo emotional stuff. You may be in a period right now where you're, may not be necessarily love, but you're kind of healing through some, some things that are resurfacing or coming up for you. Um, and, and they're recognizing that and I think they're nurturing that as, as far as that goes. If you're with this person, right? If you're not with this person, this is most definitely someone that's wanting a new beginning here with you. Okay? Especially if you find yourself, like, happy and healthy and, and doing good where you are and you feel in alignment. This is someone that wants to get in alignment with you. They may want to feel like they need to clean up some things here. could have to do with passion. It could have to do with maybe there being just a lustful kind of energy here or something that gotten got carried away with something there where they they hurt the relationship in some way or they're wanting to to clean it up you know they're wanting to clean up what what has been done um heal the situation if you're with this person there's two scenarios here with that with them or not with them very different <laughs> the way that they're seeing this but this is someone that recognizes that you're opening your heart up more and more and more um, they are ready for this wonderful new beginning here with you. They do have this like infatuation or sexual chemistry towards you and it makes them, how they feel about you, how they're seeing you, it makes them want to make better choices. It makes them want to make healthier choices for themselves. Um, and they also may be in a place to where maybe they've been guarded in the past because of old wounds, you know, that they've been holding on to or, or carrying. Um, maybe they've been a little bit weary of you at first and the, the more you get to know this person the more and more they're kind of opening up there still may be some things about this person that you still have not yet to to see and you may be sensing like you know that there's still things that are um, going to be unfolding about this person and getting to know this person if this is someone from your past it's like this person has some they've changed the way that they may perhaps see certain things. They don't see themselves in the same way that they used to. It's almost like their their ego took a hit or their understanding of the world, you know, in some way has taken a hit from what has transpired between the two of you. And it's like it, they feel kind of a little bit defeated. They may have been trying to make the best decisions for themselves. Um and they're just now getting to where they're opening up again you know they're just now getting to where they're capable of even trying to or imagine opening up again so this is somebody that's probably just really been through it 
um, okay. I know I got quiet, huh? <laughs> I did. I just got super quiet after that. Um, it's, I'm thinking about the two scenarios that I feel. And the one where this person is, this is someone that y'all have been through some stuff. This is someone that's, I feel like wanting to make a return here, wanting to go for it and come back around. They desire to fix things here, or clean up the situation here with you because it's been beating them down. You know, it's like they just haven't been able to quite get over things. Okay. And they want to heal the situation. Tell me about Paul 3. Tell me about Paul 3's person. How are they currently feeling about Paul 3? Paul 3's person, how are they currently You know, the Eight of Swords in the reverse. So they're get, trying to, this person's getting out of their head here about the situation so that they can open themselves up no matter your situation. Tell me about Paul 3, how they're feeling towards. They may feel like you're also getting out of your head about things, being more vulnerable as well. You have a Knight of Pentacles, so they're moving towards you slowly. You know, they're determined to stay. <laughs> They want something to stick. You know, the Knight of Pentacles is someone that comes towards you slowly, but they're come, to, come towards you determined. Um, yeah, you have an Eight of Wands, so they're wanting to communicate. They're wanting to get past some things. They want to, you know, move forward quickly. They, they're ready for things to come together. They're ready to open up here to you. The Seven of Swords. There's still this energy of feeling... I mean, I think this has a lot to do with this cleaning up energy, to be honest with you. They may be trying to get rid of some distractions. They're trying to... I'm going to have to get a clarifier for that because there's something else that's there. But, I mean, this is someone that's coming towards you in a way of just they're trying to be strategic at how they approach maybe the situation. They don't want to come across as being deceptive in any kind of way, they may be, if you're healing here, they may recognize some things, whether you're aware of this or not, if you're with this person, but they, even if you're not, it's like they recognize that maybe you don't fully trust them yet, or that you're just still healing from some kind of betrayal, you know, that was just really, really heavy, and you just have something that you just carry with you, and you, it's like it's never fully healed, you know? Um, it just takes you longer to trust someone or that they're a healthy choice even. Um, but I think if you've already been around this person, they're coming towards you knowing that they have to be very strategic in how they approach things because you may not trust this person. Yeah, look at that. Ace of Pentacles. This is somebody that wants this with you. They want to ground something here. They want an opportunity. They want a new start. Tell me about the Seven of Swords here in the reverse. Queen of Pentacles. So they're getting out of their head here about long-term commitment or they're getting out of their head here about approaching you. Um, and they may find you to be somewhat intimidating. So this has been, this has been hard for this person to come to this conclusion of coming towards you and having to approach you. Um, getting out of their head about being overly intimidated here by you in some kind of way. Or um, or this person's kind of just seeing you as being someone that where you're starting to feel more comfortable. You're starting to feel more at home or at peace here with them. The Knight of Pentacles. The, the Page of Pentacles. For some of you, this person may feel like they owe you some sort of an apology. Or they may feel like they're... They need to, you know, offer you something. This can also look in the way, if you're with this person, of, you know, having a new beginning but taking it slow because you want to do it right. Um, eight of Wands. 
the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. This is like quickly having a, a significant change take place. This person wants to communicate how maybe things have changed since you've seen them last. They've Maybe they haven't been doing very great or they've had some kind of an upheaval that's transpired or took place. I also keep tasting mustard, okay? <laughs> For whatever reason. Um, which always makes me say anytime I think about mustard is this mustard seed, you know, you must something, what is that saying? Um, like what you can create or what can come out of something small, you just have to have, you just have to be brave, you know? Um, what is that saying? Fear is not, no, it's not the same mustard, but I'm just saying fear is not mustard in the, how's that saying go? I don't want to get stuck on it for too long, but overcoming fear here, overcoming a fear here, wanting to move forward, wanting to communicate, um, perhaps maybe if this is someone from your past, like why things didn't work out, um, wanting to get past things not working out, you know, wanting out, let's just get past what happened. Let's just get past this. Why is this seven of swords here? Something, they're wanting something to change with the foundation, whether that's in the relationship or with the two of you and how like home and garden, you know, maybe changing the foundation of where you are and having a um, home together, you know, that could be it as well. Maybe that, not wanting to do that too quickly, you know. You have a king of pentacles here. So there's your counterpart energy with that ten of pentacles and the two here. Um, that seven of swords is there with that king of pentacles. For some of you, there may have been someone here that's kept this person kind of stuck in their head. Um, that they have to be strategic around or the moves that they make. There's just... You know, this is like a King of Pentacles that's being smart about how they move forward, how they represent themselves. They're just being smart. The move that they make towards you is going to be a smart move that they make. Okay? I don't know exactly what that means. To you guys. I want to get an extra card for it though. Because some of you, if this is someone from your past, this is someone that is making this and it's seeing this as being a smart move to make because they feel as if they want you on their side in some way. I don't know what that means to you guys. I don't know if it's because you have some, you have history here with this person with these pentacles being here. If they see you as someone that they can really build and grow something with. But they definitely, either way, they want you to be on their side here. This is, if this is someone from your past, they may have lied to you as well. I have to say this. They may have lied to you about what it is they have. Um, with that King of Pentacles. So it's like somebody putting on an impression that they are something that they're not, you know? Um, it's like fake it till you make it, but instead it backfired on this person because they didn't make it. It's like, um, it's like, I don't know how else to describe it than that. And I don't mean that in any kind of negative way. It's just this person may have been trying to clean up their life, you know, and It's like they never got to this goal here that maybe they wanted to get to, that King of Pentacles. If this is somebody that you're with, then it's like they're trying to be smart here at how they play their cards in this. You see all these Pentacles. So the foundation is important. The structure, stability, materials, material wise, it's all that's very important here to this person. This person may be very strategic about what they what it is that they actually do share with you or how they share things with you. 
This may be this may be a trait that this person has because of maybe they had someone in their past. It could be like a divorce or something like that where they got taken advantage of, or they just they felt like they were in a good position, and then like everything got taken away from them in some way. You know, so so they're in a place to where they're trying to be smart now about how they move forward, trying to be you know logical and. And methodical in the in, in, in way that they, they approach things and move forward. Because they're trying to protect what it is that they, they have. How they grow things or how they build things with you. Um, Capricorn. Virgo and Taurus are here. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. The Five of Swords. This is someone that wants to fight for their position. This is like the battle wound that's here. So somebody that wants to fight for their position here with you. Fight for an opportunity or a new beginning. It's like this is somebody that wants to join you in the fight. If you're with this person, it's like let's fight for what it is that we really want together. Even though this may be something that's a long road or difficult, and we have to be strategic at how we move forward, how we approach things. But I'm still willing to stick this out and um, fight for this. this is someone from your past, they definitely want to fight for an opportunity here with you. Tell me more about this person. What are this person's intentions towards Paul three with the eight of swords in the reverse and that queen of pentacles? The knight of swords, so they're coming in to communicate. They're coming in, you know, quickly here. Um, Maybe somewhat unexpected. They want to communicate with you. They want to take some kind of action toward you. What are their actions toward you when it, or intentions when it comes to the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles? The Fool. Yeah, they want to take a risk. They want a new beginning. Sorry, guys, my little one came in. Um, that's Aries energy there with the Fool. Taking action towards taking a risk, having faith, moving ahead, wanting to start over, wanting to start fresh, or just wanting to take a risk with you, wanting to take a risk on you. Tell me about that Eight of Wands and that Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Other actions, intentions. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles in reverse with that Eight of Wands. They want to get past this past something. It could be that it could be they weren't valuing you at some point and maybe they lost everything. It could be that they felt insecure about something here. They want to get past this. They want to be, this is, if you're with this person, this is somebody that wants to be capable of giving you everything that you deserve. Um, The Nine of Pentacles in reverse can be like communicating or expressing that you aren't, you haven't been happy or you're not happy with how things are. You, like you have what you need, but you're not happy with, with the way that your things are, you know, your needs are being met, but you're not satisfied. If this is someone from your past, this is someone that's like wanting to open up to you about this. Seven of Swords, King of Pentacles, the Hanged Man in reverse, Pisces energy. This is somebody that could be wanting to, wanting you to see them in a different light, wanting you to trust them, wanting you to know that they're not like everyone else or they're not like they used to be. Um,
This could be someone being strategic at how they uh, move towards you. I just saw the Page of Cups. They could have be, if this is someone from your past, it could be that they have to change their mind about you, though. I mean, about them. You know, your mind about them. If this is someone you're currently with, it's like they want you to see the waiting period or the struggles as being helpful for the relationship. Like, it can build the relationship or make it stronger. They're wanting you to see it in a different way. Um, so that you don't run out of patience with them or the situation. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles with that Five of Swords. Oof, Ten of Swords. Okay, tell me more about that. This is like wanting something to end, wanting the struggles to end, wanting the conflict to end, wanting the confusion to end, the trail even to end, so that you can have a solid new beginning here. If you're with this person, they're just saying, you know, I want something solid here with you. I don't want I don't want these struggles to 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 end the relationship. I want something solid here with you. If this is someone from your past, it's the same thing. They want a new beginning from this ending that transpired that happened. And it could have been abrupt here with that five of swords. You have the sun in reverse at the bottom of the deck. So there, this is somebody that's understanding that there are disappointments here, right? There's a lack of being able to see how something may even work out eventually. There's some struggles here. There's some sleepless nights or some anxieties that are here. But that doesn't mean that they don't want to do it. And they want you to see that they could just make, make, make the two of you stronger as well. They're willing to take some risk. They're willing to even go back if they need to. You know, might set them back somewhat, maybe even financially, but that's okay. Um, if this is someone that you're not with, with this being the bottom of the deck, this person is holding on to disappointments here. Things not being successful, maybe not giving you some sort of recognition. Um, Maybe even competing with you or fighting with you or starting disagreement or argument here. Maybe even putting things that they were, were struggling with onto you. And that's something that they didn't recognize before that they're disappointed in themselves with. This can be like when you're having a hard day, hard time. And you're struggling because things are not going the way that you want them to go or things are not. It's like your struggles. And they may have put their struggles onto you as being your struggles. That they didn't have anything to do with you. And when they realized this, that that's what they were doing or that's what they did, it kind of hurt them. It hurt their ego. It hurt their... Like, see, well, we talked about that with battle wounds, ongoing battle wounds, weary and guarded. They took a blow, you know, when they realized this. Like, oh my God, I, t I took it out on Paul 3. I took everything out on Paul 3. And it was not their burden to carry. It was not their weight. You could have even been trying to help this person in some way, and they did not give you any kind of recognition for that at all. Um... And there's a sadness around this. There's a disappointment around this. Okay. Let's see what this person would say to you. So hopefully you could stay with one of those storylines. Um, of course, this is a general reading, so not everything's going to fit with your story. 
Okay, so pile three. What can you tell me about pile three? What would this person want to say to pile three? If they could say anything at all, what would they say? We're more alike than I admit. Okay, well, they just threw some cards at me. So we have we're more alike than I admit. Oh my gosh, these cards are so slippery. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. These are gonna, I'm not gonna go too into detail with these because there's two storylines here. So these could be different for, for each of each story, right? I save all your texts and messages and I trusted you. What else? I am becoming a better person. That ties into that cleanup energy. Had my feelings. I'm sorry I had my feelings. You know, like this right here, like you know, when somebody acts a certain way and later on down the line, you're like reminiscing or thinking about that and you're realizing that you kind of acted that way too. Um, and then seeing that in that person is helping you see that and recognize that within yourself, like a mirror. So then you start to change that. You become a better person. You don't want to be that, be that type of person. You have, you were the best thing in my life. This person, if this is someone from your past, they, they save or they relive or reread conversations between the two of you. Um, they hid their feelings here from you. this is someone you're with, this is someone that's trying to be the strong one in the relationship. So they may actually hide how they feel and it may come across as kind of deceptive when they're not trying to be that way. They're just trying to be strong. They may not want to bring certain concerns and stuff up to you or just tell you, you know, it's, it's going to be okay. It'll be okay. I'm not worried about it. But you can kind of sense that that's not entirely true and you want them to talk to you about it and they're not because they don't want to put any more weight on you than what's already here or make you feel any kind of certain way, right? Any more what this person would say to Paul 3 if they could say anything? What did you want from me? This person may have judged you wrong or they could have felt like they trusted you and, and they may have felt like that you you know, pulled the rug out from underneath them perhaps in some kind of way. There is this level of anger that could be here if this is someone from the past of how things went. Not saying you're fully at fault, but of course there is like just anger about how things transpired or how things went um, that's here. I don't know how you feel. You know when you don't know how somebody feels and when you start to get in your head a little bit about that person and and you're like, you know what, screw that person. <laughs> something like that is here like if this is someone from the past they may go back and forth with that kind of feeling just screw them anyways <laughs> it's like being really sad about somebody and thinking I wonder if that person's sad about me and then you see something about them or you see a picture of them or something about them and they look like they're happy and moved on and you're like you know what screw them <laughs> um what they want for me anyway? You know, I didn't. I couldn't even trust them. I know I couldn't trust them. You know, some, it's like a your energy just shifts, right? This person may have been kind of battling with that, with with this back and forth. What else can you tell me um, about this? What does Paul three need to know about this and this person? A warning, instability. Okay. If you're with this person, they may not be as stable as what they're kind of presenting. You may not know everything if this is someone that you're still kind of getting to understand or know. There may be some things there that they're not, they're reluctant to tell you about. I'm not saying they won't, but they may be reluctant. They may have, like I said here, kind of presented themselves. This is like somebody that says they, they make way more than what they actually do. You know, something like that is their warning and stability. So that could be that. This could also just represent 
don't miss, don't dismiss the red flags. This relationship can stand the test of time. So don't don't dismiss the the red flags that you see in this. Even if you feel like this relationship is worth fighting for or worth keeping or that it can stand the test of time, you know, you feel like this is something that will last forever or could, doesn't mean that you don't need to put up your boundaries here, okay? So continue to be open and free here. You know, I think sometimes when we get into relationships or someone comes back around or we learn a big lesson and we reconnect, sometimes when that happens and we start to feel comfortable, we start to lower our boundaries and before you know it, we don't have any. And we leave, our, leave ourselves completely vulnerable with that person. It's not saying that you can't do that. It's just saying to remember when you don't feel stable. Remember when you need to put some boundaries up. Remember when there's things that come up that you didn't know you even needed a boundary with and you need to put boundaries up, right? In leap of faith. And then take a leap of faith. It's safe to make the move that you're considering. So if you're wanting to make a move or if this person with that full energy, I feel like it's coming right at you, by the way. Um, it's saying it's safe to go for it. It's safe to make the move. Take a leap of faith here. Just remember where your boundaries are when you feel unsafe or insecure. That's a huge indicator, you know. Okay. What advice do you have for Paul Free? Angels of dreams. So maybe getting need to get a dream journal. You have number 48 here. Angels have been working on working with you during the dream time by giving you important messages to help you in your situation. So they've been kind of sending you messages through your dreams. Maybe write those down, jot down whatever it is that you remember. Look at the symbolism with those things. See if there's a pattern, you know, throughout every night. Boundaries again. Holy cow. Number 11. Protect your energy, you know. When you don't protect or overprotect your boundaries, your needs go unmet. Review and renew your boundaries. That's what I was getting at earlier. It's okay to be with somebody and like that, but review and renew your boundaries. Always review and renew your boundaries, <laughs> right? Things change. People change. Relationships change. Situations change. Um, even if this, some, this is someone coming back around here that's wanting to heal things, just if you're if you're deciding to get into that, you know, some of you won't, but if you are deciding to get into that, just remember to renew and review the boundaries that you have because this person may be very different from the way they used to be. Not getting so comfortable that you're just a free bird. <laughs> and then you're like, oh, I'm going to get hurt again. You know, that kind of thing. Okay. Be cautious. Don't throw caution to the wind. <laughs> um, okay. And I'm a Sagittarius rising, so that's very hard for me to say that. <laughs> so y'all know. Um, you have the, the dragon here. So, yeah. There's like this huge, like, fire that's like underneath the surface of everything that's, that's there that's just ready to make something happen, you know, um, you also have the crab, so cancer energy could be relevant here, but this is about your home and your stability, you have the number four, which is the same thing, um, you also have the angry head, which came out one of the other piles, but maybe this person got a little angry for some of you, maybe they got, you know, their anger got the best of them here, perhaps, or maybe they're just frustrated, with the things they've said or done, perhaps. Um, you have a horseshoe here with the star in the middle, so luck is on your side. Okay, lots of letters. Let's go through these. You have F, A, H, Elmer W, R, I. Then you have O, R, Z, A. 
the S, N, and A. There are tons of stuff that you could probably spell with all these letters. I pulled so many, I don't know why. Um, I want to spell faith, but there's no T here, so can't. <laughs> can't do that. Um, anything else that kind of pulls pulls me in? This could be an M or a W. I think I said that. Um, okay, I'm going to hold this up so y'all can see it. I know there's stuff that's here, but I... There's nothing that's just kind of really like drawing me in. Home, nope, home is not here. You don't have an E. Yeah, there's nothing here that's kind of pulling me into it. So I'm assuming that that means there's stuff here for you guys that I can't see. So I'm going to hold this up so y'all can see it. And I'm going to leave here. So thanks guys for being here. I definitely hope this helps. Good luck to you with this. I'm sending you some love and light. And I hope to see you soon. Okay, top four. So if you chose the snake, you are brave. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> the snake can represent transformation. It can represent, um, you know, things, oh, an awakening, you know, things coming out into the open, coming into light. Of course, one of the things that I saw immediately when I pulled this was someone wants to know if they can trust someone or someone wants to know if someone's being deceptive with them with how this person feels um there is one two three four five six seven eight holes here in this snake so it could be that there are Eight is the number of, you know, taking action. It's also about life and death. You know, it's the eighth house. So heavy on the Scorpio energy here with transformation as well, you know. Um, there could have, be, have something to do with the intensity here or desires even. Something that could be painful. Okay. So we'll put this to the side. And we're going to take a look at your card. I haven't looked at it yet, but this is going to give me an idea of how actually you are currently feeling about this person, where you're at currently. We have the stag spirit, leadership. So this is divine masculine energy here with the stag, emperor energy. So we have the number 39. I think that you may be transforming here. Maybe transforming the way that you're doing things or maybe transforming the way that you're taking the initiative or standing up here for yourself, even with the stag energy, this leadership energy. Like you're feeling very strong, very independent at this time, very capable at this time. You may be looking for your own personal growth or expansion. I think that you feel strong and confident and there's like this rainbow energy that's around this which rainbows are like a sense of harmony hope um, happiness so I think you're strong in the idea of being hopeful within yourself confident within yourself um, with taking the lead or, or taking the direction taking direction that you need to take here for yourself. That number nine is independent number. I think you're growing and expanding at this time yourself. Okay. You may also be looking at this person for some of you as a divine counterpart. So we're going to get some, we're going to get a few cards here to see. First off, what this person's energy is towards you. be thinking about the person that you want to know about how they're feeling what is their current energy towards you what is this person's for for Paul for what is this person's current energy you have not amused 
fat up, doesn't care anymore, hard to please. You have fanned out, available, no limits or restrictions, willing to be vulnerable. What is this person's energy towards you for pearl four? Soul family and religious factors. You also have friendship at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Being friends first, keeping it casual, or going out with friends. So this person could be in a place where they're trying to keep it casual, or this could just be a friend. Underneath that, though, it says worth the fight, not giving up easily, wanting to conquer, fighting for your love. So friendship could have been what has built this connection or this way this person is really seeing you. So they're really connecting with the friendship that they have with you, and that's something worth fighting for. You may have some different beliefs here. This person may feel like that there's some differences in what it is that you really believe or perhaps what it is that you really want. There could be actual religious differences here um, or they could just be focusing on on maybe this. This person could be afraid that maybe this is some kind of heavy lesson for them um, or that there's some kind of sacrifice here with you in this. I don't know really what I mean by that. We'll get more into it. Um, this soul family here with soulmate attracting your tribe and soul contract. So this person feels like that they have some sort of contract here with you. They feel like that you are someone that's a soulmate that's meant to be in their life. Okay, someone that is meant to be in their life. I think this person may be just weary if that if that means that you're just like a, a lesson for them. Um, or if there's more to this. This person may feel like that you, not for everybody, but some of you, this person may feel like you may be a little bit hard to please. <laughs> they may feel like your standards are high, you know. Um, they also may have get an impression or feel as if maybe you're not, you don't care about them anymore or you don't care as about, about them as much as you, as you did. Um, or you may be kind of bored with them even. Because I do feel like that you are in a very self-focused energy, okay? So that's why I'm saying that connected to this here. I also feel like this person may be feeling like that you're available here to others or you're just open to others. You do have three people on this card. So with this being, you know, keeping it casual that's here. This person may feel like that you're just kind of open to whatever. You're open to other people. Maybe if you get bored with them, then then you have other contracts here, other people that you can kind of move towards, or at least this is something that they're thinking of. That might be something that they disagree with, or they don't know if that really fits with them here. I think that this person is, they may recognize that you have a soul contract here with someone else, or they're afraid of, I think they're afraid of deception. You have that snake here again. So there's those two snakes that are here now. I think this person may be worried about being deceived. I think they're worried about what they don't see or what they don't know. And you may actually mirror that in this person. You may feel the same way about this person. This person is willing to be vulnerable here with you. They have this want or need to be vulnerable here with you. I feel like this person may get this impression that they don't fit the bill here with you in some way. They don't satisfy you enough in some way or that you're looking elsewhere. For some of you, you could feel this way about this person. The roles can be switched, but I am feeling like there's I think you're both kind of feeling this way about one another to some extent. How is this person feeling about Paul Four? Yeah, the Queen of Swords in the reverse. So there's this 
lack of clarity, truth, understanding, they don't feel great. The Queen of Swords in reverse doesn't feel very great because she doesn't feel like she has what she desires the most, most which is clarity, the truth. Um, that's Libra energy. This person could feel like you're kind of cutting them out. This is the justice in reverse, more Libra energy. So Libra is really important here. Um, that's about the seventh house, which is about relationships. So this person could be focused on a relationship they feel like may not be fair or just because there's secrets here or there's things that they don't understand or they maybe can maybe in the dark. Um, about what you want or who else you're with or something like that and they feel like there's some unjust or unfairness that's taking place you have a five of cups in the reverse it's the energy of moving on moving on past having regrets here the two of cups this is almost kind of sad to be honest with you I think that this person recognizes or feels this connection here with you, with the soul family, friendship, two of cups. I mean, I think that they definitely feel this connection here with you. But this is an energy of moving on. This is an energy of getting over regrets. Um, not feeling held down by a disappointment. So they're trying to... They may be trying to stay available or be available. Or they may be being vulnerable in this situation here with you and they recognize that. You have a Queen of Wands. I do feel like that's the same person. It's possible maybe it's not, but I do feel like that this is the same person that's here. You know, and it's possible that this person could be cutting off someone here that they feel like is not a fit moving on and towards a relationship here with you, or that's something that this person wants from you. There's the snakes there again. That Queen of Wands is someone that, that wants to be confident or feels confident in themselves. Um... If this is this person and this is how they're seeing you, they're very attracted to your energy. They're very confident in their relationship itself. But I think it's like the things that they, they don't know or can't see that they're not confident with. Like this is like they're confident here with you and how they feel about you. That they feel like you're a partner. They feel like they that y'all work together well. That y'all could have a good partnership here, but they're not confident and very unclear about what could be going on behind the scenes that they're, that they're unaware of that could be somewhat deceptive or somewhat unjust. And having to have a realization of being vulnerable here and then getting past the idea that they are vulnerable to those things that, they are, that they're unaware of. It's like, yes, not knowing certain things or feeling like something is not fair or unjust behind me is making me feel sad or insecure even. But I want to move on past this because I do still feel this connection. Why is this Queen of Swords in the reverse? The Emperor. There's the emperor. There's that emperor right there. Called it. Aries energy with that queen of swords in the reverse. They feel like that you have a plan. This person feels as if that you are prepared, that you have a plan, that you know what you're doing, that you know what you want. But I think part of that is that they may also be afraid that you have also 
the ability to kind of cut them off or cut them out if that's what you decide, you know, that you want to do. You, they may see you as someone that cuts people out easily or that, again, I don't feel like this person feels as if they mean as much to you as you do of, to them. For some of you, it's that this person didn't show that to you or is not showing that to you. Tell me about justice in the, in the reverse. Judgment in the reverse. Yeah. They're afraid of judgment here. They're afraid of what's going on. This person is afraid of what is going on with you behind the scenes. So if this is a situationship, a casual connection here, a friendship of some sort, it's like this person knows that there's things going on here with you. They may even sense that or just feel that there's things here they do not know. And you're sitting in a place of, of, of holding on to that truth or that clarity or that understanding. Tell me about the Five of Cups in the reverse. The Three of Wands in the reverse. This person has a fear around waiting for something that's never going to happen. You know, the, the, the Three of Wands in reverse is like when you sit there and you've made a plan and you're waiting and waiting for that ship, your ships to come in and all the ships come in but yours and you still wait and it just doesn't end up happening. Something happens to your ship, <laughs> you know, or you sit there and wait and you get it and it's not what you thought it was. It's not what you wanted. Um, like, wait a second. That's not the ship that I ordered. <laughs> um, and it doesn't happen, you know, and you have to kind of get over that maybe this is not going to happen. So this person is in that place of getting over the fact that this way that they want things to happen may not happen. They're having to get comfortable with this feeling because they feel as if you are in control and they are not. Um, and that there's things going on they feel like are not fair in this, especially not being, being in the dark is unfair. But then you have the two of cups, the seven of wands. The challenge for this person is that this, this connection is the challenge for this person is because, I mean, it's because they feel this connection here with you. They see the potential here with you. This is like when you just connect with somebody, you just get along with them. You just feel like you're, this is someone that's meant to be in your life, like that soul family there, you're attracted to this person. And they're seeing this as the challenge. This is like knowing that something's going to be difficult to get over. So you have to be able to put yourself in a place where you're not putting high expectations on this and you're acknowledging that there are things that are going on that could hurt or that could, yeah, that could hurt you that you're unaware of. Like you're logically, like you're putting yourself in a place where you're trying to be logical, logical here and be fully aware of that so that it doesn't come as a surprise. Because if it did, I think that the, this person knows it's something that would really, it's really going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult anyways, but they're being practical with it. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. This could be someone that's very intuitive. Oh, hold on. I got to get my George. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so unprofessional. When it comes to my cat, guys, <laughs> I'm like, I gotta get my cat. Here we go. Okay, I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> kind of, this person may feel this way too, with just like with my cat. You see how I just jumped up and went and got him because he kind of rules the house. Um, <laughs> this person may feel like this with you. Like when you when you jump, there they are. Um, and they're very vulnerable in that. I think this, they feel like they, 
they're very vulnerable in that. They may be trying to contain or trying to pull back on that somewhat. What I was going to say here is this person may be very intuitive. And they may be feeling like that if this is the case, what's happening here behind their back is really what's going on. I don't know what that is, but they feel like there's something. If this is really the case. Mom, yes, sir. I'll be out shortly. <laughs> Sorry. If this is really the case, then this person feels as if they're, this could be just a, a lesson. It's like almost like they're trying to wrap it up as a lesson just in case it really is a lesson or they really, they may be feeling this, you know, intuitively. Um, magician in reverse. Yeah, because they don't feel like they, they don't have control in this. There's that snake again around his stomach. They don't have a lot of control here in this. And so they're almost, in a, I mean, in a way, they're almost manipulating themselves or manipulating them, themselves into thinking that they're confident, um, that they're happy, that they feel good about things. Um, okay, let's go more into this. That's uh, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, Scorpio, lots of Libra. Um, and Gemini Virgo down there. What is this person's actions toward you with that Queen of Swords and that Emperor? King of Cups. Oh, I just heard a song in my head. Um, it's Alicia Keys and it's like Deeper in Love. You know that song? I don't know the name of it, but um, it's a song about falling deeper in love here with someone, but so this is their intentions here, this King of Cups, Scorpio energy. Staying committed here to this. The Page of Swords is here, it's just being cautious. But they're being cautious with the Page of Swords. I mean, spying on you could be here. Just paying attention to the things that come up, you know, continuing to be alert. Um, but in the meantime, when they're continuing to be alert, they're, they're falling deeper for you. Tell me about what this person's actions are moving forward. That five of cups in reverse, three of wands in the reverse, you have a seven of cups in the reverse. This is a card of choice. There's that snake again. Card of choice, you know, this is about that disappointment, not wanting to be disappointed, not wanting to have regrets. What if something doesn't work out in the way that you want it to? So this is like, I'm available, but I know that there's other things that are your, that you're interested in. I'm, a, I'm, I am available and vulnerable here in this because there are other options that you have, other choices that you may have. that catches your attention. This is the way at least that they feel or what they're prepared for. Tell me about the two of cups with that seven of wands. Look at that, the lovers in reverse. With the two of cups, I mean, this person, this is the struggle here with this person. I think they're, it's like having something without having something. My cat is scratching on my door again. This guy, he's been just the bossiest thing ever lately. Yes, you have. I'm talking to you. You know it, don't you? Come on. Come on. Come on. I told you I got a minute. You didn't have to wait a minute. Come on. Come on. Come over here and sit with me for a minute. Okay, he wants my attention, guys, so bear with me. He's pretty persistent. <laughs> um, okay, that's Gemini energy there, by the way. This is like you have 
that partnership, that relationship, that connection that's there, right? You feel that? But the challenge here is that you can't, you're not fully invested into this, or it may not be what you'd choose with this person. You know, you may not choose them. Why is the... It's almost like whatever's going on here is keeping this person feeling trapped into only being here. Where they're recognizing the connection and they're wanting to be in this confident, fun, playful kind of energy that's here. Going off of their intuition and things. Trying to be confident in this. But then you have all this other stuff. Um, that's hard to kind of sit with, right? What are their actions when it comes to the Queen of Wands with the Magician in reverse? The Page of Wands. Notice how they're in these pages, page energies. Continuing to explore, continuing to have, be fun and playful. Um, they may be also trying to focus on themselves. They may have some good news here um, that they want to share with you or something that's coming. Maybe they've been waiting for in some way. The Six of Swords. They're waiting for this transition or for things to get better. They have a Four of Swords. They're trying to give you some time or give this some time. Temperance, they're being patient here. They're just reevaluating things. They're waiting for something to change or transition or become better. How does this person, what is, what is in their heart space for you? How do they really feel about you? Call for, what's in their heart space? Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. They're worried about losing the opportunity. They feel like this is like fated or fortunate or lucky and they're worried about losing that. Um, tell me more about how they feel about you and their heart. The Six of Pentacles, they want to give to the situation. They may feel like you're breadcrumbing them, I have to say that. I mean, you kind of got that from the reading anyways, but in the Three of Cups, there's that friendship energy that's there. You know, this is someone that feels like, I mean, they want to give to you here. They don't want to lose an opportunity to give to you. They may feel like you even breadcrumb them when it comes to that friendship there, that Three of Cups. This is like when you have a friend, and I feel like this is romantic, obviously, with this person anyways. But I feel like this is like when you have a friend, like, like for instance, I have a friend that, um, we're super close, um, but we hardly get to ever see each other. We always like, when we do see each other, it's, it's worth it though. The friendship is worth it. The connection is worth it. It can get very, our, our conversations get very deep and we know each other very well, but it's also like we hardly get to see each other. We barely get to interact. Um, she's very busy all the time, but in this case, I feel like this person feels like you're controlling that. Which I think is making them feel a little bit like you're bored with them. I think maybe you're just focused on yourself here because that's all I talked about with that one card in the beginning. Anything else about how this person's heart space, what's in their heart space here for you? <laughs> Look at that. This is the card of boredom. Um... It's the Four Cups. This is not wanting to miss an opportunity here or having regrets about missing an opportunity here. This is like a feeling of this person's like, they may be in this situation they feel like is not really good for them because of how they feel, but they also don't want to miss out either. You have the moon, which sums up that reading here at the bottom of the deck. The moon is Pisces Cancer energy. And the moon is a place of the, like we talked about, deception. 
illusions, delusions, um, fears, insecurities, just being in a place of darkness where you can't see things clearly. It's not a good place to be in. It's actually not a great place to be in at all. And you have the sun. That's divine masculine and feminine energies that may actually not be on the same page here with one another. Um, so you need the sun with the moon because the sun shows you all the things that you can't see when it comes to just being with the moon. The sun comes out and put, puts clarity on things, but the sun is in reverse here underneath the moon, which is Leo energy, by the way. So overall, this person's unhappy here, trying to stay out of their head because they feel like they don't have the truth. They don't have clarity. They don't have a good understanding of things. They can't see things clearly. Um, and the moon is on top of that. They're afraid of deception. This person's afraid of what they can't see. I mean, this is this overall reading. They're afraid of the things that they can't see and how unhappy that would make them. I don't know if this person, I feel like this person feels like that you have other people in your life. Or you're just wanting to be single or you're just open or available to others in some way. Let's see what this person would say to you. stare at me like that. <laughs> I won't let him out yet because he's just going to go out there and come back just like he already has because he wants me to go out there with him and I'm not ready to go out there. And he's trying to get his way. He's trying to scratch on the door. I'm not going to the door. So I turn around and he's giving me the biggest go to hell like that a cat can give, which is pretty evil. <laughs> the way. Staring me down like, you better get up and get over here and go out here with me. Now he's going to be mad at me the rest of the night. Okay, so what would this person, Paul Four's person, say to Paul Four if they could say anything? I love you unconditionally. And children, tr children may be important here, or you've known this child, this child. You've known this person for a long time. This person could just, you know, have this bond or this friendship with you, and it's like they love you no matter what. Um, my life is not as together as it seems. I'd do it all again. Yeah, this person does is in a place where they don't want to have regrets. They don't have regrets even if it doesn't work out the way that they want it to. Um, their life might be, not be put together as well, maybe what it seems. Um, maybe this person puts off like they are confident and in control. Um, have it all together and maybe they don't. Maybe there's some things that they're going through. They may not clue you in on those things. I'm waiting patiently. So yeah, that's there. I couldn't tell you face to face. Hmm. I couldn't tell you face to face. There may be something this person feels or, or like emotionally, maybe they couldn't tell you how they felt face to face because they would get emotional um, or they would just feel like insecure here with children. They, they may just feel kind of, they couldn't tell you face to face because it made them feel like foolish or like a child even. They didn't want to get emotional here. You know, like when a child like you a child's honest with you, you know, they tell you how they're feeling, you know, like my child, my middle child, he's fine until he starts talking about his emotions and then he'll start crying. That could have been something that was here. This person didn't want to say anything to you face to face because they didn't want you to see them in that way or see them emotional. Like they're, they definitely are trying to put on this strong exterior. Tell me more. I still have feelings for you. Yeah. Tell me more. What would this person say? What would this person say? 
Oh, good grief. I can't get the cards to come. <laughs> well, this person, there we go. You came closer to anyone. I'm waiting patiently. This person may feel like that so far, you know, you're, you've gotten them to open up more than anyone else has. And so they feel like that, that in itself is worth waiting for or worth giving an opportunity or chance. They may like the way that that makes them feel. Maybe this is someone that hasn't been able to open up to many people. Um, and they feel that way with you. They may feel like this inner child connection here with you. Or they've just known you for a long time. The friendship is there, you know. Um, I wonder how you feel. And I feel so drawn to you. Okay. Let's get some overall cards here. And then we'll get some advice to close. And then we'll, we'll get some initials to close. What advice do you have here for Paul Four with this person? What advice can you tell him, Paul Four, with this person? What advice do you have? Mm -hmm. New love. So that's like the Ace of Cups. A new love or recommitment to love is developing and unavailable. This person is unable to give you all that you deserve. So for some of you, I mean, if we put this in together for the reading, I was going to say, for some of you, maybe that's true. This person is unable to give you, you feel like maybe they are unable to give you what it is that you deserve. That's not what I'm feeling with this reading because it kind of is off of that. This could actually mean like, this person may love you here. They may want to commit to you or, or want this opportunity but they may feel like that you're unavailable for that. And you may be presenting yourself as someone that's unavailable for new love because we have this availability card that's here. So it's like someone that is open and someone that is not open for something. So why is this advice? Fate. This is the destined partnership. Yeah, sometimes things we just can't be ready for because <laughs> fate steps in. Um, George, twin flame is at the bottom of the deck, um, which to me just means, and it's different for everybody. Of course, you do have the spiritual, I mean, the um, Kundalina awakening here, but to me, this is just a connection that is faded that changes your life tremendously that makes you kind of see things within yourself that you didn't see before someone that has a profound effect on you um which whether that's a good way or not so great way it depends on how you're looking at it you know let me get some more advice before we close up Whether you remain unavailable here or you take the opportunity for a new relationship or recommitment here um, with this person, either way, connecting with this person and meeting this person in this way is something that I feel like it was destined here because I think either way, you and this person are going to have some significant lesson that comes out of this, whether you're, whether this is about losing something that could be it for some of you or gaining something opening yourself up what advice do you have for Paul for moving forward frozen so if you've been frozen or if you've been kind of this person's one that's been here waiting number 46 take this moment of standstill and use it to improve your situation and yourself remember what what's yours can't be taken away so if this is something that's faded you know, then for some of you, you may not be open to other people like this person thinks. Maybe that's something that you need to clear up. 
if that's the case. Side message came out of came out of nowhere. Um, <laughs> if there is a pause here, there's a need for this pause here. This person may just be kind of reading into that in the in the wrong way. So maybe there needs to be a conversation there. But this is also like remember what's yours is, can't be taken away. So understanding, acknowledging, and knowing that if this is something that's meant to be that it will be there once you get to a good place within yourself, right? And if this person's meant to be, then this may be part of a test, you know, for this relationship is that whether this is something that, that is worth fighting for or not, this is something that you don't want to give up easily, you know? Third party, number 22. Someone you're not aware of will affect the outcome. Everything will unfold for the greatest good for all involved. So, I mean, this person is picking up on it. Some of you may have someone else in the background of this, and maybe that's why you're frozen here. Maybe you feel like you're unavailable to love this person at this time, but you also feel like this is something that's faded. There could be someone else here. This could also represent just a third party, okay? So this could be... Who knows? Anything that's a third party. Person, place, or thing. Um, could be a habit. It could be a career. It could be, um, you know, staying too heavily focused on yourself that you're not acknowledging this person's having empathy for this person or where they're at. You're not acknowledging their feelings in, in this in some way. Um, whatever the case is, there's some kind of third party interference that's taken place that's putting you in a place of pause. And the pause could be the third party interference as well, right? The waiting period or the pause, not being available or saying you're not available here, could be part of the interference. Almost done, okay? I'm so sorry, guys. He just would not listen to me to wait a second. He just would not give me that. Just wouldn't give it to me. Just would not. <laughs> um. Okay, so let's get some initials to close. What do I do with my... I try to explain to them, if they would just give me a second, then it wouldn't take as long, you know, because I wouldn't have to edit some of that stuff out. That might be something here as well. You know, maybe you're in that place. Maybe that's what you need to explain um, to this person, if, if, if this is something that you're wanting, right? Like, you need to figure out what it is that you want for yourself, or you need to spend some time on yourself and feel right about the decisions that you make moving forward. Otherwise, it could take, you're taking a risk on this not working out or bringing some kind of negative or toxic energy to the, this connection with this person and that's what you don't want. Um, you wanna maintain some sort of friendship or some sort of connection between the two of you, healthy connection. It's like not wanting to bring your baggage into something new. And this person could be taking that very differently. Even the thought of a third party energy here could be really a, a huge disruption to this connection because this person could be not being authentic here because they're afraid to be authentic or they're worried about, you know, again, what's going on behind the scenes. Okay, tried to get some more initials, but so we have the dragon, we have the angry face, which just come out, I think, in most piles. Um, so there's frustration here with this. We have the crab here, so that's an energy of home or protection or needing to protect yourself. Or this person may be feeling like they're going back and forth here with you, side to side, you know, like a crab, kind of tiptoeing away or tiptoeing around things, um, even though they are frustrated. You have the elbow, so putting some effort into this. This person, I, I do feel like this person feels like that you're, you're just, you don't see them as something worth putting effort into, or that might be in their low, low point, you know, when they get sad about things not working out in their favor, that might be their low point of how they feel, like they're not worth it. Um, you have the home here, so two, and the two things of home, stability, safety, security, that was here as well with safe, safe place. So there's this big energy of this person, you know, wanting to 
protect this, but also like, wanting to protect themselves as well. J, O, C, U, and D. And that's it. Do you see J? <laughs> Do you see justice? Do you see justice coming? <laughs> Um, do you see fairness happening here? Um, okay, I'm gonna hold this up so y'all can see it. And I'm gonna leave here. All right, guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for all your love and support. I definitely hope this helps you guys and um, good luck to you with this. Sending you some love, sending you some light and I hope to see you soon.